Hello everyone, Pang the Piper here, and I'm here to talk updates, updates, updates. So, last time we had a major update, the entire area of Dark Tower Wasteland was, well, remapped. So you've got more uh, Dark Spires than you can shake a stick at. Ken's been busy, by the way. Also new is that Ken himself is in the field, and he will give you the quest Chimeramon Hero. This can only be completed by going into Chimeramon Hero mode, but we'll get to him in a minute. Uh, something I didn't talk about last time is that we now have an encyclopedia, where you can take a quick look at all the Digimon you've got, and if you hover over them, it will even tell you what level and what percentage that Digimon is at. So, yay! Um... Also, if you fill out certain sections of the encyclopedia, PDA, like by having the four holy beasts, you will get a activation condition, da, da 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 which will give you special boosts. Currently, the only one I've got is the three angels. Woohoo! Yeah, and the miracle sapphires are still dropping. Go figure. Anyway, um, four dark masters. Almost got him. Moving on, uh, the other update I wanted to talk about was Magnamon. Yes, sir, Bob, you now can get Magnamon. But damn if it isn't hard. Uh, forgive the curse words here, but to get Magnamon, there are two ways. Uh, forget trying to scan these little worn boxes. The armor pieces aren't going to be in there, specifically these armor pieces. Those armor pieces can only be obtained from a miracle box, which is achieved by going and talking to... Close. Ken. Who I'm going to right now while we talk. When you unlock Magnamon, you get an achievement. Acquire title. Zip down to the bottom of the list. Miracle Evolution Digi-Egg. Which does nothing more than be shiny. Uh, Magnamon's evolution is open up at level 25. Yeah, I think so, yeah. Along with Flame Dramon. So if you've got Flame Dramon, you've got Magnamon. You can have both unlocked at the same time with no penalties. Magnamon has three attack variations. There's the Magnum Attack, aka Punch You in the Face. There's the Plasma Shoot, aka Missile Spam. And then there's Extreme Jihad, a.k.a. Magnet Explosion. If you recall that episode where Magnamon versus Chimeramon and things went kablooey, that's Magnet Explosion. So, over here is Ken. He's the one who gives you the quest to enter the Kaiser's Laboratory. It has two variations, Normal Mode and Hero Mode. Hero Mode is bloody hard. Bring a team of at least 90, make sure all your slots are full, and everyone has to have armor. Uh, normal, not nearly as painful. Both modes will have various components of Chimeramon show up to try and eat you. No, really, they show up and try to eat you. Uh, for those who aren't familiar with Chimeramon, he is an ugly son of a gun. Let's see here. Body of a Greymon, head of a Kabuterimon, uh... Devimon's arms, Angemon's wings, Garurumon's legs, uh, Skullgreymon arm, and a... What's the name of that dude from Season 1 who was the first guy to try and eat the Digidust in his arms? He's got his arms as well. So, yeah, Chimeramon. Ugly son of a gun. But Ken's like, hey, I'll have a contest! Go in and beat him and see if you can win. If you can win, in normal mode you'll get a normal type Chimeramon data, which will allow you to scan for miracle boxes, but will also provide you with pizzas. And if, uh, goddess fruit and growth fruit. Yeah, they don't sound that great to me either. To get into the, uh, laboratory, either normal or hero, you will require a Kaiser's Laboratory Warp Gate. Right now they drop after about three hours online. Uh, through the event thingy. Or you can grind on everything that's around here and it will eventually drop. There is no level lock limit on the drop rate. It works exactly like the evil spirals. I'm heading this way to show off. Um, if you have the cash and the luck, 
You can also attempt to get a Magnamon 100% egg through the cash shop, through this mysterious digi egg box. You gotta be really lucky to pull it off. I mean really lucky. Some people got it within 7 tries, some people got it within 70, and I'm not that much of an exaggeration there. So, uh, take your care. Be careful, I should say. So, by going through normal mode, you have a chance to get the worn digi eggs of Magna Power. Woohoo! Magna. Missile spam, please. Thank you. But by going through hero mode, you have a chance of getting the perfect non worn version. And I do mean a very slim chance. First off, you have to survive hero mode, which you have zero guarantee of doing. And then you have to get lucky enough to scan that data and win it. It's literally a luck crapshoot. Currently, all the pieces are selling over rate. If someone tries to sell you one for 2T, uh, tell them to bug off. They're being silly. So, yeah. Proceed with care and be careful, guys. It's <laughs> currently an ugly armor war. <laughs> it's an arms race. Oh, boy. Okay, and on that crazy note, with me going absolutely freaking nuts over this, I will see you guys next time on Project D3.